Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I have a bit of a different one for you today. I'm actually planning to gather up all of my gently used clothes and a couple of my purses and go make some money at one of the flea markets here in San Antonio. Of course, I'll be taking you guys along with me, not only for the company, but also in hopes of if you guys have any of your things just laying around your apartment that you no longer use, hopefully you guys will get some ideas to go ahead and recycle them. So right now it is 6.35 in the morning. I am putting on my shoes and I'm going to probably grab some cereal downstairs and then head out the door. I already packed um, a little bag from last night with some snacks in it. I'll show you guys uh, at some point. Um, but we are kind of cutting it a little bit close. We're not late or anything, but we're cutting it a little bit close for the time that I wanted to get there. So you can see I have two bags of goldfish and a couple fruits and then I have a little insulated cooler with about four bottles of water in it okay so we're now in line this line goes on for forever and a day but I guess um I mean we were told that there are many many vendors on uh, set on Wednesdays and Sundays and today is Sunday so we just have to wait until we get up there and get to check in. Here's the parking lot. It goes on way, way, way down there past what you guys can see right now. Okay, so we have arrived. We are at our marketplace. We finally found a spot. So it's a bit different than what I thought. Um, you actually just have to drive around until you find a spot with a black line under the number and it felt like None of the numbers had black lines underneath them. Just about everything had yellow lines. We finally found one, and so um, I actually left my face mask at home. So did Quan. But Quan left to go find a vendor that um, is selling face masks. So here you can find anything from used cars over here that people are checking out. Some people have clothes like us. Um, we have some produce way down there. Like they have little shops um, where they sell. A lot of the vendors are selling. Um, Mexican um, candies and foods and stuff and um, We'll go for a little walk later on and I'll show you guys some more of what um, some of these vendors are selling It's a really big market. Honestly, they're inside the car. I guess I don't know. Okay, so it's freezing out here freezing 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 cold I'm wearing biker shorts and I am dying and I do not see Sun anywhere but we're actually getting the tables ready. We're gonna get the racks out, start putting the clothes on the hangers and sorting through the stuff. We didn't go through sizes and sort all of that stuff beforehand because we're just gonna kind of like wing it, but. I'm gonna actually be selling these two purses. Here's some clothes. Oh, some of the clothes fell out, but it's okay. Those two bags of clothes and then Each um, reserve, each spot comes with a table, so we're going to use this table instead of using both of the tables that we brought. And then here are the clothing racks. Okay, so we are in the process of setting up. We're this is five or, or two? That one? Five. Five. Yeah, five. Okay, this one is... We have this dress set up, we have this dress, we have this dress. We're making our first sale. Super exciting. And then, um, yeah, these are the so far we're about a third of the way finished oh shoot he found a whole other bag oh my god there's more how do you feel so far so far so far so good yeah so far so made good. our first sale <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we actually made a few more sales this is super exciting having a lot of fun so far and um we're actually still not done unpacking everything from the car yet um but i've sold a good number of things so this is promising I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but everyone keeps passing by with these churros and they look so good. I'm about to go grab one in like any minute now. And those are all five.
so I think it's time for me to go ahead and take a walk around now and see what the other vendors out here have. Quan took, uh, Quan took, Quan walked around like twice, I think, and he came back saying that he saw some really cool things, and so, this music is so loud. Just, let's just go. <laughs> So I'm back. I didn't see that many cool things. Like I didn't really see much, but my walk was definitely cut a bit short because I kept hearing too many people sneezing and I just got freaked out. And so I came right back to where my safe zone is and um, I'm back at my shop. Okay guys, so we're making some really, ooh, another buyer. Okay, back to what I was saying. Oh, we may have another buyer. Wait, guys. Hey okay, guys, so it happened twice. Every single time I pull out the camera to talk to you guys, we had a buyer pass through, but everything's clear right now. Um, just, just touching bases. Most of the, our vendor neighbors actually have cleared out already. People are getting tired. It's time to go home. Time to go home for me too. I'm getting super tired and I'm just ready to go, but it's also really fun making these sales, so it's kind of like I'm gonna maybe give it like another hour right here before we head out um, before we start clearing up and then head out, so Cause it takes balls to rock a mullet. <laughs> you can take it for three, for three dollars. No, it won't fit her. Oh, it won't fit her. Okay, okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so we are about to close shop for the day. I am exhausted, and I really have to use the bathroom. We have someone else looking at our stuff. This always happens. Every time I talk, I try to talk to you guys. We have a new customer. I think you guys bring on the luck. It's so weird because um, I think I told you guys earlier that most of our vendor neighbors have left. Everyone has packed up and gone. And we're trying to do the same now. We stayed back about like two hours after most of our neighbors left. And every time we try to pack up, I think we have more people stopping by to kind of like just stare at our stuff. So we're like, are you guys going to buy something? Or maybe we shouldn't pack up yet. Like it's so weird. Kind of like in that in between right now. But I think we're just going to go ahead and call it a day. So now, just packing up, putting the hangers back in the box. Uh oh. All right, and then for these last three dresses, we're making some progress. Looking good. I think it looks good. Okay, our station is all packed up, and um, we decided to take one last walk around um, just to look at the stuff that's left, you know, from the vendors that remain. Because I didn't get to go down this side. Remember earlier when I was like, I got spooked out because everyone kept sneezing. So I'm gonna now see the other side of the park. Oh, I already like what I see. The vibe is nice. Put this mask right back on. We got more people. Okay. Oh, I like. 
like it, Kwan. You're right. There is more down here. Oh, they have the nachos here. Produce, peppers. Smell like scallion. Nopalitos. Nopales. You have bell peppers. I like it. Oh, this is like the market. This is like carnation market in Jamaica, huh? Good. You said what? I said yeah, I said there's more. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're five for a dollar with chili. And I'm also, I'm, I've also been eyeing that watermelon heavy. But I'd rather just buy watermelon. I don't know what this is. These look like Bigfoot. Hey, go to water the cloth. The same ones you have. Like Bigfoot? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, there's a Hispanic version. Are they spicy or what? What does it taste like? You remember what Bigfoot tasted like, right? Yes. Does it taste like that? Um, I don't think so. Not as much. That one's more picante, spice type stuff. You see that? These are good. <laughs> All right, so we are saying goodbye to our stall. <sighs> oh, yeah, grab the jacket. So we took one last walk around the around the um, the market, and we stopped to buy one of the Mexican shops and got some Cheetos, but they are. Torciditos and botana de semolla de maíz con queso y chile, which is super, super, super Mexican. Mexicans, they love their queso and chile. So I made sure to get this. I like trying, um, <laughs> I like trying, um, products from other countries. Like, like this was definitely, definitely imported. Like every single thing on here is in Spanish. Like there's no English on here. So that's cool. And then got some candy. This one is pickle flavored. Just wanted to try it. <laughs> and then this one I've, I've had a good number of times. Um, you had mango though? The mango? Have I've it? never had mango. This is the first time so I've maybe ever had it. Maybe I've had the regular one. We'll see. I don't yeah, remember. I've had original and I had um, uh, chili and lime. Those oh, Okay. But that mango, something else. Okay. And then I got another, I got a mango, like some other mango sushi. And then I got some, oh, this one is Kwan's. But yeah, the point was like, I wanted to make sure that we got some Mexican, Mexican, like goodies before we left even though you can low-key honestly get like any of the stuff in a supermarket on any street corner this is the only thing that you can get in the supermarkets because this one is legit like straight everything on here is spanish you you're not going to get this in h-e-b or walmart but everything else that we got you know um this is a predominantly mexican city so you can get a lot of mexican candies and everything like just about anywhere almost forgot to actually close out this video like do the outro so don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you got this far in the video and you really liked what you saw don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please share i'll see you guys in my next video